Hey Duelists, bringing you the Cast March. ELH returns to us today. We have a 6v6 battle on TZ Dam. Joining me uh, as special guests are uh, Proxima, and uh, you are coming, uh, you are either watching us on our recorded video uh, or you're watching the uh, live stream. We welcome you. Uh, we're getting ready to start here in 20 seconds. I'll go down the lineups. And then uh, we will spectate. Proxima will be covering the uh, ELH team no, uh, representing the Tikhanov, uh, uh Task Force uh, trying to attack neutral planet Pleon defense forces. We'll all follow the uh, defenders. We start in five seconds. Match has begun. And uh, here are uh, tonight's lineups. We have a Uller D for Silvercraft, Red and an Uller E, Papst and a Vulture D, Ivan and a Vulture E, Serpentis and a Vulture Prime, Yeti and Osiris A, and opposing them are Eridani Light Horse members, uh, Zoidberg and a Raven A, Vivisector and a Chimera E, Eritan and a Chimera B, Aim and a Hollander B, Kill Them All and a Bushwhacker D, and Sudibor and a Bushwhacker B. Uh, and, uh, I'll, uh, turn over to my, uh, to my, uh, broadcast partner, uh, for the evening, uh, Proxima, uh, what do you think of the, uh, Eridani, uh, list? Uh, I mean, cons here's what I've just, here's what I'm noticing, there's a lot of close range mechs for the, uh, for the Russians, very, uh, very brave of them to do that, especially on a wide open map like this. They're going to have to be very careful, considering Werner has picked a lot of long range assets, and most of those assets can do a 360 torso twist, so kiting is very, very uh, feasible for Werner's team, something that the uh, Russians are going to have to look out for. I see that uh, the, atta uh, the attacking um Mercenaries are uh, setting up uh, short of the dam. They do not want to cross the uh, the dam right now, uh, Proxima. They are looking over wide open, but I I feel this could backfire if they if uh, the if the attackers come through uh, come through the middle of that dam and and run into them as they're doing right now. Uh, this could give uh, the attackers an advantage. Elh appears to be already noticed has probably already noticed where Burner's team is uh, probably having to set up in a, such a manner to where they can just rush them but also do like I said do bear in mind that can easily be turned against them if they decide to start running at them considering the kiting ability of Burner's team looks like the hole is just lifted ELH yep. sticking to uh, stay together and uh, Serpentis, uh Sergeant Ooh. no no Sergeant Red, uh, Sir, probably Serpent is telling Sergeant Red to go out and go scout a little bit, while Silvercraft is also out scouting a little bit, trying to get a bearing on the enemy. ELH probably already knows where Serpentis' team is, and is currently flanking from the left. More than likely, Serpentis and his team has fought them before they get there, but there is a big rock in the way, and that is... That rock is going to provide a lot of cover for ELH to get a little bit more closer than what Serpentis really should allow them to. I don't know. We'll see. And I see that uh, they've sent Silvercraft uh, out to scout. Now, Silvercraft, uh, one of the top, if not the top scouts in this entire game, but he is not in his uh, preferred uh, Raven or Osiris. That's an Uller C with good firepower to defend itself, but without the uh, escape speed, and, and he is way, way... Uh, out there right now, Proxima. This has got to be easily 700 meters away. Correct. We've had our first shot. Fired. Uh, they're rushing them. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is going to be in uh, a to call enough uh, victory. They've uh, they've just uh, gotten way too close for any of those long range weapons. In a situation like this, focusing, uh, focusing on Habs flexes. Yep, uh, and uh, we've got uh, our first kill. So, uh, they did get Sudibor down. Now, now this is no, this is no. Uh, uh, they just took down Pabst. Uh, these are both skilled teams. 
so they will we will see some kills for both teams here but all that close range firepower uh, approximately you think at this range is just gonna overpower uh, the other team more than likely yes usually with long range stuff long range assets versus close range assets if the close range assets gets close enough and charges that close range asset team is really going to be the victor now this could have gone they just lost Ivan and uh they got killed them all so user disconnected from your channel they've they they've 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 traded blows here but uh but yeah the result of this was pretty obvious uh once that flank uh was that successful now that could have gone another way had they just spotted them preemptively beforehand and initially Serpentis could have could have I'm not sure what he was planning could have had his team fall back during that time just kite them as they charged them which could have easily ended up in Serpentis's favor now uh, Yeti uh, the only one left he's gonna try to do some damage but uh, sometimes uh, you get on the end of that you just gotta forget about what just happened and move on to the next map Sergeant Red all that's left Jeweler, perhaps he can win, perhaps not. We're not quite sure how damaged the other remaining three assets are, but we'll see. We also don't know how damaged uh, red is, and uh, in this case, you 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 fire, you fire, you uh, spread your damage. But uh, this was a, this was a closer battle than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Proxima once. Uh, the teams are pretty balanced skill-wise, and, and both have very good veteran leaders and excellent faction leaders. But at the end of the day, uh, once that flanking maneuver was successful, uh, I thought it was going to be a five-on-one or six-six to nothing affair. But they brought it down to uh, three remaining mechs, of which is only a beat-up Hollander A and, uh, Chim and two Chimeras, Proxima. Uh, who knows? Uh, on the next map, uh, things could very easily go the other way for uh, the defenders. Indeed. So we shall see. Uh, the Tikhanov Task Force uh, goes up one to nothing on their attack on Neutral Planet Pleone. For SJ Proxima, this is SJ Duelist. We'll see you next time.